Hi guys, this is Heidi stitching Pei back with the floss of number 20 and today's date is uh, May 14, 2023 and I want to wish you guys all happy Mother's Day. Today is the wonderful special day with all the moms uh, for us living in here and in heaven. I want to wish the best day for everybody. I also wanted to wish my sister happy, happy birthday. My big sister Mary, love you sis and so i'm back with the um, finishing my mirabilia parade continue continuing finishing of the my mirabilia parade uh, uh, i just re-recorded this i'm re-recording because my son was making noise so i apologize if, if i feel like i already said it and i'm kind of getting tongue-tied uh yeah i don't have anything written down because i felt like if i put part one uh, and i didn't finish it it's kind of what happened to the princess kind of thing when if you're reading a fairy, a fairy tale story and it goes to be continued and doesn't so i feel like i should finish it off before uh the month is over so yeah that's what i'm doing so before i i i start showing my kid kids oh okay today what i'm gonna do is i show one finish i have several uh whips i still forgot one to bring it up but doesn't have a lot of stitches on her um whips and the kits and if i have energy or my throat doesn't get dry i will put away the kits and i will try to do the patterns if not i'll call it a day for today so i since my last uh, video i finished the uh, the christmas elf fairy and it's the fairy holiday collection number one i had a used pattern from ebay i purchased it but if you look for her now she's available every store so print as a pattern not as a kit at the beginning they were selling as a kit but they are reprinting it as a pattern and it's available everywhere so christmas elf fairy since i did not have the kit and i started 2019 so it's not a hard pattern what happened i had a mistake over here i had to fry it out i got upset i put it aside then i wanted to finish it last year i could not find a pattern so when i was doing the whip parade um last video maybe uh, a week ago i found her so i decided to finish her and she's one of my older mirrors so i am trying to finish as i start 100 more but you know i want to uh, i i want to not just start but have finishes although it doesn't bother me to have the many finishes or have um uh, many whips and i don't feel guilty about it they make me feel uh, good so and uh, i'm not stitching anybody i'm not hurting anybody by my stitches so why not stitch what makes me happy right i don't know why i said that so because i'm gonna show hundreds of kids that's why probably i'm like trying to justify but why should anyways christmas elf fairy uh i i stitch with dmc's uh the ones that have a little bit shimmer i don't know if you can see uh and for the beads i use uh change to petite beads because i don't know the, the, it was easier to stitch it the white ones are regular size 12 beads the silver ones are petite uh, size 15 which is smaller size 15 beads uh, for the beads like if the number goes smaller like size 6 is the bigger beads size 15 is smaller beads that's how it works. The cranic is whatever cranic I had and the DMC whatever, but this pop of green made the hair come alive. And first I was like, oh, it's boring. It's only red and silver white. But once I put the pop of green, she looks wonderful. I'm, I fall in love with her again while I was stitching. I got very excited when the finishes come. So, and I put the date already. 2023 i started 2019 and i'm i'm still i stitched her on 32 count yeah i think it is no 28 count gingerbread lugana by picture this plus so for christmas ones if i'm not 
really sure what to choose a lot of my Christmas not a lot of it few of my Christmas I have started on gingerbread or I'm starting it that's like my comfortable holiday color but the Lugana uh, uh, I, I know I told you uh, before uh, but I want to just say it if you get the picture this plus linen it's m much darker which doesn't mean it's not it's bad it just you're not gonna get this color you're gonna get darker color which also is pretty I do have a linen and I'm I'm planning to stitch few things on linen too but this is Lugana so it's Christmas elf fairy and she looks wonderful I'm not sure if I can show all the beads. It's harder to show all the shiny stuff. And yeah, so this is also my oldest, one of my oldest projects that is already finished. I'm really happy about it. Let me see what is done. The next one I started is a uh, Tree of Hope. No, this is a whip. I didn't start it right now. This is an older one. So I started this March 31st, 2022. On 36 count Alien from the Moon by x Design Fabric. Tree of Hopes. Tree, Tree of Hope. And yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself because 10 minutes ago I already showed it, showed this and uh, I recorded it and I had to clean it up because he was banging uh, something on backyard and it was coming very loud. Let me see. <clears throat> this is stitched on 36 count fabric. Usually I do not stitch on 36 count mirabilias because of the beads and the charms, but I thought it was more sparse the beading. I thought it works but and she doesn't have a lot of detail on her skin so I took a chance with the 36 count I do want to I don't know if I have it on kitted or pattern I have few patterns that they don't require a lot of beads I am gonna stitch on 40 I'm gonna try but this is the first one that I tried on the higher count 36 and I think it, she looks wonderful so she's done the tree everything is done except the beads so I need a pot of flower over here, a mirror image. No, not mirror, right? she's a little bit different, her sister, I call it. Over here and pot of flower next to her sister. So three big motifs and she's done. I, am, I have not worked on her this year, but I'm planning to work on her uh, sometime. This is all water lilies she has a lot uh, this pattern has a lot of water lilies and for the and for the skin this time i use this uh, which is a splendor it's a, a silk color but uh, what is the number okay s894 i thought since i'm doing one over one over two and the silks are a little bit thicker so I chose to use a, a silk color for her so it uh, the skin looks fuller and actually I like it so much that I'm gonna experiment on a two, uh, 32 count um, fabric too to see if the one strand of silk will work because usually what i'm having a trouble with not having a trouble i have to be careful the skins of the ladies is two over two the i i, I the daintiness of the skin uh kind of gets lost so i should not zip it sorry so i'm gonna try a few of my other ladies so this is i apologize if i say so so many times the blossom harvest i started it uh, May 12th, but this is a uh, mania start. This, uh, basically, I had her kitted up for a long time. I'm trying to stitch the ones that I have kitted up for a long time, but I have not worked on it for one reason or another. So I'm trying to pick up the ones I had it for longest. So Blossom Harvest, I had pretty long time. Long enough that I'll show you guys the beads. Uh, the packages and the charms 
got yellowed. And the prices are the old prices. You won't find it. So that's how old they are. That's why I wanted to stitch on her because she has so many beads and charms. And this is the new one, only the new one that was missing. And this one, the rest of it were my older ones. Her head is full of charms and she's only using one craneck. I was surprised with this design. I thought she is white dress. She has a white dress, but surprisingly enough, so far I've been working with purples. A bunch of violets and purples and was not planning to do that. Well, I, it didn't look like it. She had a lot of violets and purples, but she did. So, this is uh, one of the specialty fabrics that I've been collecting it. So, finally, I decided to use them. I'm working this area. So, this is the end of the, her skirt. This side. This area will be this yellow sash, the side of her dress. And the fabric is 28 count. It's called 28 count floral meadow by uh, uh, 28 count Lugana floral meadow by this designer. Since my last video, a viewer let me know that this design, it's hand painted fabric. Uh, a viewer told me that this dyer is not dyeing these fabrics anymore, but I have a couple of them and I've been keeping it. Finally, I decided I need to use them. Why am I keeping them? Um, off topic, I think I need cross-stitch intervention for cross-stitch fabric intervention because I bought more fabrics and yeah, I have a problem buying not only 28 count or Mira, like I even got 45 count one. I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show it on my next video, but I tend to buy a lot of fabrics and I need to stop doing that. But anyways, I'm trying to use what I have because I feel like I'm just getting the new one and the old ones, they stay on my stash. So uh, I started from the bottom because I wanted to place her such a way. Although I wish I started her like over here. If her skirt was from here, it would have been nicer, but I'm not gonna take it out. There uh, quite a bit stitching uh, on uh, in here. So if you imagine if the skirt started from here, I would if when I framed it, I would have framed from here. But now that if I frame it, I don't want to go all the way down. Probably I have to cut it like this, which is yeah. Because I don't like to frame it really uh, well. I asked the framer not to frame, not to leave too much margin on the side. I'm not used to have this kind of extra fabric. So let's see. I have a lot to go. So I'm I'm planning on something that it might take several years, and I might change my mind. But yeah, blossom, uh, blossom harvest. She's one of the older designs. When did she start? When was she printed? I think um, MD60 2001. So, yeah, she's one of the more senior patterns. This one, my only mirror, uh, no, Nora Corbett, which is the same designer, that's what I'm gonna show. I forgot to show you guys last time. It's a Halloween fairy for, by Nora Corbett. This is a magazine uh, from the uh, Crustage magazine. But since then, um, it is, uh, it is uh, available online. So Halloween fairy by Nora Corbett. Nora Corbett, Corbett, you know, and I am stitching on 
32 count uh, grandpa sleeve by xju design i have not worked on her too but i did what probably close to her halloween i'll work on her uh, all right i have needles i usually don't like to leave a needle or leave the fabrics uh, in uh, hoops or Q-snaps because I feel like the, if I leave it for a long time, the, the, uh, the area that the hoop or uh, the Q-snap is, it, it bends such a way the fabric that even if I iron it, it doesn't come off. So let me see, finished her entirely. I just need to bead her. And I, I think I will, uh, yeah, I'm working on the vines. There is a beaded, which area? I think it's this side. There is a beaded moon. She's looking at the moon, yeah. And a whole bunch of swirly things. So if I work on her, uh, if I give a good few days, I think I can finish it. Halloween fairy, but 32 count, grandpa sleeve, x design fabric. I love her fabrics, especially these specialty ones. They look so cute for Halloween or for farm stitching. I, I have one from the uh, with a needle and thread, uh, Brenda Gervais, uh, which is uh, uh, on a carriage. Uh, and the chicken is uh, uh, pulling the carriage. I'm doing the same fabric. Well, I kid it with the same fabric, but I think it looks great both Halloween and for the thing for farm i'm losing my speech again all right i'm working another whip that i had shimmering mermaid um, and uh it's md71 it is out of print but i think it's one of the easier to find mermaids and i'm working with this fabric which is once in a blue moon, plain opalescent fabric by fib Fiberlicious fabric. Yeah, Fiberlicious fabrics. And she's one of the closer to finishes. Last year I worked on her quite a bit. She, uh, she was calling me last year, and actually she's calling me this year too. So I really do want to work on her again such a pretty girl basically everything here is done including the beading i did use the beads so to make it i like it when the head is all finished it motivates me to stitch rest of it and so i'm working only on the tail the max most of the work is done so I need to finish the tail over here and put more beads and a little bit of the uh, her shawl and she will be done. I love her expression. She's so shy, you know, uh, she's so, I don't know. She's more, like, I feel like she's more like a young adult. Unlike my queen mermaid i feel like she's more mature mermaid that she's more like a teenage mermaid so yeah shimmering mermaid by uh md71 and my oldest mirror whip that i have that i have not shown you guys last time is uh me uh, cherry uh, okay <clears throat> miss cherry blossom and i'm stitching her on uh 32 count touch of pink it's a cold for fabric i use that um, i started her i'm gonna say end of the 2019 or beginning of 2020 i know i was working on her during the covid she has a lot of beads and charms she has larger see i'm talking about the size number six is the large beads 
Number 12 is the most common bead size. She has also bugle beads. And um, charms. Uh, let me see if she has uh, petite beads. I don't think she has petite beads, this one. Okay, so it, she doesn't have any uh, mini, mini, I call them mini beads, size 15, which are the smallest beads. And usually if I am doing um, on a smaller count fabric, I, I change them to petite beads. Uh, let me just show her and I want to sh show you guys my plan. I don't know if I'm gonna do it that way, but my plan has been from beginning to after finish her. Yeah, my hair is getting on my face. After finishing her, I got a free pattern from the Dimension Floss Kit. It's a free pattern. Those cherry blossoms, what I was thinking after doing the, let me see. After doing her umbrella and putting the beads, I see if I like it. So what I was planning to do with her to separate some of these cherry blossoms and sprinkle around her. So as if the umbrella is covering so she won't get the cherry, uh, the blossoms on her head. She is such a beautiful uh, lady. I love everything and I'm I'm glad I'm doing on a pink fabric, a uh, touch of pink Vichelt fabric. It is 32 count. A lot of people don't like it, but a lot of times if the design is this busy, I don't like to put a hand dyed fabric, so I don't want to compete with the design. And if this is all beads, she's going to have a whole bunch of beads. So she's gonna be very shiny. If I put a busy fabric, I thought it's gonna take away from her dainty clothes and stuff. Um, I think most of her skirt is done. What I need is few, uh, a few of the more, few more of these uh, lines, clothing. So I don't know what are they finish her skirt uh, this part of her skirt only yeah i think i need to do it a little bit more and her umbrella so i'm showing the picture and then so this is miss cherry blossom she's very pretty and i think once i finish it she's one of those even though i don't have um this theme kind of designs in my house. I wouldn't mind if I frame her and probably put around my room. I really love her feminine, soft look. Yeah. So those are the only ones I forgot to show you guys last time I was doing the Mirabilia parade. So I'm gonna just go ahead and one at a time take off my kitted items and show you guys. Not sure if I'm gonna start everything. It, I just have it kitted. When I say kitted, some of them are kitted entirely, which means fabric, beads, um, floss, specialty floss, care and water, lily silks, and some i only have the bead pack i still call them bead beaded but not always is the case so i have this one md151 renaissance mermaid i did purchase the whole kit including the fabric which is 32 count sea spray linen which it's a very pretty linen and really light color I also have the bead pack. She has a lot of beads, so I cannot go. It is uh, those, uh, what are those? Treasures. She has the treasures. Um, 
those are the magnifica seed beads and i think they are right now are uh, they don't produce anymore uh, there is this huge hard charm and size eight is the large beads size six is the biggest bead size size eight is the one lower than the size six bead so for that reason i thought like i should get the uh, cold for fabric which i did and it's very pretty very and very stiff but once i start working on it like the cherry blossom it softens it the actually i don't call it a whip i put it with the kids because i have one strand of floss but then i saw several people use it hand dyed fabrics even though it's she's very pretty and the fabric is cute i don't the reason i'm not uh, continuing on this one i wasn't sure if i wanna do hand dyed fabric or stay with the cold core fabric i have not decided yet and for now i'm not i'm i'm just gonna leave it as it is until when it comes turn to stitcher i'll decide this one is the i apologize i'm gonna open a ziplock my fancy storage mermaid of atlantis she is beautiful and i chose a fabric for her which is picture this plus this is the 32 count like the, the opalescent i don't know the name i cannot find the tag opalescent fabric and i have the, some of the dmc's and i think she's gonna look beautiful on the opalescent but again i'm using i'm stitching this fabric the um, holly berry from nora 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 bella mirabilia nora corbett so i made it nora bella holly berry from nora corbett design and do you guys see how shiny it is if i put her and she has a lot of stitches this is mermaid of atlantis md95 i'm not sure if it's out of print or not so the fabric is beautiful but honestly when i stitch on opalescent after a while my eyes go crisscross i get uh, my eyes get tired really fast and it's a darker color too again fabric is beautiful but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish it on this kind of dark opalescent fabric so she's also on a hold until i decide I should have opened the rosy plugs. My next kitted item is ah, I started her at Love Mira Mania this year. Excuse me. Um, last video you guys saw uh, Baker's wife. They are complementary to each other. The Duchess of Rowan MD one six eight. So I got her the cold fork fabric, which is thirty two count uh lilac belfast linen okay amber linen it says lilac but i got it one two three stitch as a kid so i thought this is the call for one and this is vichild so i got this fabric for her i thought it's it is the amber linen but it says only belfast linen lilac not amber hmm that it was the call for one so i do have her uh, i make a working copy i have the floss and all the beads she has i th she only has one water karen water lily silk and i believe i'm not 100 percent sure uh or i could not find it the butterflies the charms she needs how many i don't think they're all the same one 
25 no they're all the same I was I'm not sure if I got all of them or I, I didn't find the right size so I got three packs of these butterflies she does need a bugle bead she has a Swarovski crystal she has a charm and bugle beads so i did not want to go hand dyed fabrics or something smaller count because of all the charms and beads and stuff and bugle beads all around the, her skirt over here but i'm working on the baker's baker's wife first so once i finish her i'm gonna start her after Baker's wife, I'll start this one. I'm just saying her, her, her. I think all the Mira's designs, what I noticed, it, I do like stitching people, humans. Uh, but 99.999% of her designs are all female. Um, the only one she has a, a guy is the, the Kiss. It's a very old design. She has him she has three santas which i have all the all her santas santas magic md15 i was gonna start this year and um she has one angel archangel archangel something so those are like she has five six uh male designs most of them are all of them are fancy ladies so i shouldn't just say that so I have him with the cold for fabric again because he needs a huge cut of fabric. 38 count Tuscan linen. The I love I lost the my, my I forgot what it's called. All right. Magnet. It's a huge cut. And the reason I'm using cold for fabric for him because if you guys see over here all of this it's part of his coat but it's not stitched so the fabric 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 acts like a coloring you know like instead of color, uh, filling in that part Instead of filling that part, I just I outline it and the fabric will look like as if it is cold coat. She, he also has a lot of um, cranix. Not all, those. This is all his DMCs. I have it all ready. I was gonna start on the New Year New Start, but uh, I started the uh, at the mat. So. Do you guys see how much cranic she he needs? Why am I uh, I'm keep on mixing the she and him? He needs a lot of cranic. There is also this. This is not the regular cranic. This is cord, cranic cord. I have never worked with this one. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in um rear end. The whisper. I do have the I want to say it's the cold for one because the this whisper was out of uh, production yeah this is a substitution so this whisper uh, is the substitution it used to have uh, I think different color um, darker brown whisper but they are not making it anymore so I had to purchase a substitution whisper and also the white one so most of him is stitched with the cranic he has only like two beads but the cranic uh, whispers it's quite a bit stitching but the floss wise to be honest for mirabilia he doesn't have a lot of floss i think this is right as by right amount of floss it's not a lot i have seen uh, some 
this is all the floss that I have seen some that have like four or five lines of required flosses so Christmas magic it is out of print Santa's magic MD 115 but I think this is one of those um, patterns that you can find it on uh, out of print reasonable prices I had it before it was out of print so there's that then March Aquamarine Fairy MD159 she's also all ready I do have the DMC I'll show you what I do is I go to the Kinko's or FedEx I make a huge working copy I'm not gonna show the uh, chart but I want you guys to see it. oops I make a working copy and I tape them together both sides so this area that no, busy area I don't miscount and I was smart enough to buy the whole pack yeah it does have uh, charms and Swarovski crystals I don't know if it has Magnifica bead. If it, uh, yeah, it does have Magnifica bead, which are out of production anymore. So it's good thing I have the charm set. Otherwise, I would not be able to get the call for beads anymore. So a uh, substitution would be petite beads or delicate beads. But for now, I think I'm gonna slow slow down or not buy a lot of mirrors until I'm a little bit make a dent on my kit kitted ones Ad, Af Aphrodite mermaid Aphrodite mermaid MD 144 really popular one and I have seen a lot of people speech I for her I decided to go with child. I think it's the cold for one twilight blue linen yeah so I I decided to go with her cold for let me just it looks gray but this is the cold for fabric even though it looks gray over here I seen people do it on the bluish violet color one but I thought the fabric is good and the beads is not a lot she has one large bead size 6 again she has Magnifica beads which are out of production anymore this and this you cannot find it anymore and it's 32 count Mediterranean oh actually it's a 32 count Mediterranean sea linen yeah, that was the call for one no it's not the twilight blue my apologies I misspoke it's a Mediterranean sea linen which again the witch holds for the fancy ladies a lot of times I stitch it and people don't like I understand the reason I stitch on witch hold is because the faces look good because it's tight weave even though 32 and the faces look good that's why my apologies I got thirsty my sister drove all the way from she she lives um hour and a half away no hour away she drove all the way here to give me boba drink <laughs> coffee for Mother's Day. She's my sisters are amazing. The Snow Queen MD143, not out of print. I don't know if you can find the charm pack. Charm pack alone is very high priced. This has one two three four five five large um treasures one small treasure a lot of magnifica beads which are all out of production it has a bugle bead which are the long ones and she has how much? How many? Karen Water Lilies. I actually have both of the Karen Water Lilies. Uh, the thing I don't have is crayon. Um, 
crayons. I do have crayons. <laughs> Crayonics. So those are the two water lilies that is asking for. Look how pretty they are. I love the variegation on Karen Water Lily Silks. And no, I do have a uh, Cranix too. So what is it stopping me? I think it's the fabric. That's the only thing I don't have it. Because I have this Cranix and I think I have the other one in my other, uh, other fairies. So she's almost ready. Oh, I know what I don't have. I don't have the DMC and fabric. So for this one, I still need to get DMC and fabric. It's one of the popular ones. A lot of people stitch. I don't know. Do you guys, it, it, it's asking for Twilight Blue Linen. It's the same as for the mermaid. But I was thinking gingerbread. Then I was like, she's in the snow. I don't know if I should go hand dyed blue cold colors. That's what I was thinking. Although I do like the gingerbread, but I was thinking I should go colder colors. But I don't know which one. So um, either blues or grays hand dyed. I did thought about the gingerbread though, but which she, she has a gingerbread. But I don't think it will work for her because she has all cool tones and gingerbread is very warm. Even though most Christmas designs are warm, I don't think she's one of those warmer tone designs. So I'm still debating on her fabric. Sometimes what I am not sure what I do is go in Instagram or Pinterest. I tap the pattern's name and uh, I look what people chose for the for that design uh, to make to give myself an idea. This is Winter Queen MD 13 and this is available. Although I would suggest if you are gonna stitch this, Autumn Queen is already out of print. Spring Queen, good luck, you won't find it. Um, Summer Queen, I wanna say still in print, but I don't know, but she is. So if you like her, I would suggest it. Don't wait too long. So I already stitched the Christmas Queen. I showed you guys. Um, I have the Queen of Freedom stitch. It, it's same style. So I need to stay. I don't have the Spring Queen, but I do have the Autumn Queen. I have the Queen of Freedom. They are all sit the same way, summer and winter. So only one I don't have is the spring one. This is the only crane it needs. So a lot of beads. I was gonna go for a smaller size, but looking at the beads, it has petite bead, but it also has large beads. And if it's closed, yeah, if there's chains like this, so I think I have to go 32. I was gonna say I wanna go smaller count, but I think I'm gonna go for for a 32 count. And I do believe it was reprinted one time. It was out of print, then it got reprinted. So if you buy it, you're gonna buy the reprint, which is okay. I think sometimes reprints are better because they fix all the mistakes they made it first time around, like Queen of Free, uh, Queen Mermaid. My original one had a mistake, but when they reprinted it, they fixed the mistake. This one is Lady Mirabelia MD158, and she was printed for the. Um, 25 year anniversary 2018 and the reason it says this is because on the side it says charm that was made just for her this butterfly charm it is available but usually those special ones i do buy it because the charms i can you cannot find later i am planning to stitch her on this fabric I know it says a little bit of a too much modeling, but I think because her skirt is not too busy, 
the fabric will not compete with the skirt I'm not sure if I want to say Mirabilia design or change the wording and the fabric I chose is this is the one 32 count I got it from Etsy I don't know anything about the dyer but the fabric seems like it's a pretty good one this is yeah this is the correct color so I don't think she has a lot I do have the DMC's and water lilies and the beads so I just don't have me starting it so I got the pack again I found that it's easier to get the packs than buy individually and it's kind of a little bit cheaper it says two water lilies so pretty I'm not sure where it's gonna be used this one it is called for I hope I didn't get the wrong one two for one yeah it is called for unless there was correction and I did not know about it seems like this is the right color but for the blue one I'm not sure so yeah she's all ready with the fabric and everything I just need to make a and I have PMC's I just need to make a working copy for her design because I don't want to run the design and start but for now, I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, never mind. I have the working copy too. Yeah. So, whenever my mood strikes, I might start her because she's already. This one, I started her on Vichel 28 count linen. I was not happy. So, I let her... I. I Grab that one, Mer Mermaid and Andine MD134. It's not a, a really old pattern. And the cold for fabric is 32 count sea spray linen. For some reason, oh, the charm pack, I already opened it, but I did have the charm pack. For some reason, I was not happy with the linen it didn't look the way it didn't look dark or, or any i don't know it didn't work for my taste so i scrapped that one this is the water lilies called for what else do i have oh let me just show the beads they came out of the bag so I do think I need to use a 28 count fabric because of the beads. Those are beagle beads and she's using size 8 which is the one uh, below the size 6 bead. They are huge. And she's using two of those. No, size 6 too. Never mind. See size 6 and size 8. You can tell the difference. Yeah, and petite beads. She has a lot of beads. So I do need to use a bigger size fabric, but I'm just not sure what is good. I did not like the cold four for her because she is very uh, plain looking mermaid. So she does need a hand dyed fabric. And uh, she's not busy. And she and if I stitch this, I'm not gonna stitch the border because honestly, I'm not getting what is the border for. Maybe there is a story. And then the water nymph glides effortlessly through the depths with her favorite conch shell, conch shell prying open oysters for their glistering pearls lodging within. So she's under the sea. I don't know why she needs the border. I don't know. I think I'm going to exclude the border because I don't understand. And it's going to be harder to frame it if I have borders. 
I'm not planning to frame everything I have, but sometimes I want to have that option, you know. I have also uh, kitted up MD21 Fairy Idol. Very popular, really big girl, big as uh, Sleeping Beauty, if not bigger. Yeah, she's huge. I have all her uh, kitted up. She does need a lot of, well, few Craig uh, water lilies. And this is out of out of production. Uh, w seven six uh, whisper. This is the one that was asking for the Santa too. But now we can. I have it kitted up with her, but with the Santa, I had to substitute because this one doesn't. Uh, they don't make it anymore. And quite a bit beads. So for her. I only need the fabric, which is going to be more than fat half, I think. Uh, she needs more than regular mermaid size or Mira fabric, called for fabric. So I do need a larger cut for her. I'm running out of space. And then I have portrait Oh, okay, I have this portrait queen. I do have the fabric, but for some reason I did not put it with the kit. I have the working copy and the water lilies. No, one water lily. That's all you need. And hmm, I thought I have the kit too i mean the bead kit too i think i have it with the fabric i put it somewhere else i have to look for it but yeah she's ready she made several of like this uh, portraits but since i have her i don't think i'm gonna do all of the portrait ones because they all look the same so i'm just gonna do her there is also luda one that is very popular right now before that there was a full coverage one I don't remember, but she made uh, her newest mirrors, several of them, they look the same. So I chose her. Well, I, I bought her, then she had several others were printed. So I'm just going to stitch her. So this is uh, Mirabilia May. Last time I showed you guys, I started the April. The fabric was meant for her, but because the flowers are darker, the greenery, I decided to go with the April one for that fabric. She does need a lot of treasures. I don't think I have all her treasures. Some of them were out of production. I think the butterflies over here. I do believe she needs butterflies and I could not find them. Yeah. I think, uh, oops, the picture is out of the thing. So I, I do believe I am missing uh, some of the treasures, but I do have the DMC. Sorry, my head is down, you cannot hear it. I do have the DMC and everything. I just need a fabric and one or two treasures. She'll be ready, but not this year. So all of them are not going to be this year already. I think I start all of them. The only one I'm going to start uh, when I get to her, I'll show it to you guys for my birthday on May 26th. That's the one more I'm going to start and that's it. Golden Girl, Girl Apple MD118. I got this as a kit, everything, because it's a full coverage. I didn't, I, I didn't think I needed um, hand dyed fabric for this. So, I have 28 count milk chocolate, no, I, I think I went to 32 count milk chocolate linen by Wichelt with the beads. She's going to be full coverage. I like those pinup kind of girls. Looks different. And um, for my kitchen, this one, if I ever finish it, I will frame it. 
it feels like a little bit modernistic i don't know depends on my mood this was out of print then they printed again for the 25 year anniversary 2018 i purchased it and i don't know if it's out of print again md75 butterfly fairy she uh, when they reprinted it they also made a charm pack okay when they reprinted it those are the ones they reprinted so i got all of them except her because even reprinted i could not find it so and i i was not willing to spend um that extraordinary price but i purchased um one two three four out of print charts 2018 and she was one of them and i am gonna stitch her she's not very big one 12 by 14 on 32 count and her dmc list is not big her mill heels are not big i might even go 36 count she's an easy stitch so if i have to start something next year i might start her because i don't think she's gonna be really big one uh, right now i don't want to start the really large ones because like you saw you guys i have several large ones october opal fairy md132 my throat is getting dry i do have the charm pack that it broke and for some reason i have silk lame yeah actually it is called for look at this prettiness so i have silk lemes for her i have a cranic i do have the bead pack so i'm missing a dmc and a fabric i do have the working copy too so two things i'm missing dmc and working copy which are more affordable parts the charm pack and the silk lamaze cranix specialty pf i don't think it needs the water water car no it doesn't need a silk uh, silk um, plus when i get tired i start uh losing my words i'm almost there in 30 minutes the cottage garden fairy this is the one i'm gonna start on the 26th uh she's not a uh, huge 13 by 17 but she does have quite a bit specialty beads and thread metallic thread i chose for her more cold color even though it says darker warmer color so i went with the colder color and it's called Winter Dusk Lugana. I have not used Dems of the Needle. I have not used their fabrics before, so I don't know anything about the dyer. But the color, I thought it was very pretty. I will use that. <clears throat> then... I should a little bit uh, speed up. Siren of the Shipwreck, MD125. She has tons of beads. I put it uh, in a bag. I purchased them separately. She has tons of beads. Uh, two water lilies. And... I do have the DMC pack, so all I need is the fabric. I might just go for cold for fabric. It looks uh, see lily linen. It looks very pretty. It looks pretty. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is because she is not calling me anytime soon. Let's see. And then i purchased this one i was gonna start then i felt bad because there's a lady violinist 
and there is no male violinist and both of my kids are uh, performing violinists which means they go on stage and they perform they went to school they graduated my daughter is in university now so she's not performing right now but both uh, my son is performing uh, they start oh my hair my I apologize my daughter started a little bit later she was eight years old when she started playing violin she has she used to have a long black hair now she cut her hair my son is a violinist too he's he goes to music school plus his uh, his orchestra so yeah i wanted to start it then i'm like if i do it for one kid i should do it for both kids so unless i found some other pattern with violin i think i'm just gonna hold off on her I use, I'm planning to use 32 count, count Valor, picture this plus. And I'm not using the Water Lilies because I was watching a Stitching Mommy, I think she was teaching, and she said that Water Lilies are for the flowers. So I'm just gonna use hand dyed, uh, hand dyed plus from my stash. I'm not gonna purchase the Water Lilies. And she doesn't have a lot of beads, so I think her skirt is gonna take a while to stitch, but other than that, I don't think she's gonna take too long. I know what I'm saying. Cathedral Wood Goddess, MD164. I have everything, including TMC, except the fabric. So she has a lot of treasures and beads, mostly treasures. It's a big pack and I do believe there was a stitch along uh, a few years back I I did not start it I have the water lilies and a whole bunch of cranics see this cranic I it's a new one but it the spool it looks like it's half used but it's a new uh, cranic I got it and also the cording it looks like empty but I'm hoping this is the this is enough because that's the new packaging if I find the right fabric I'll start her because she's very pretty but so far I have not found anything that uh, talks to me the fairy moon is one of the out of print ones that I was at love was lucky enough when I saw it they reprinted it I jumped in and bought it with the big pa bead pack and for her i am i decided to use 32 count lugana i'm trying to see if i wrote down the fabric name no 32 count murano dusky apricot by crafty kitten so it's a beautiful fabric beautiful color but i think crafty kitten right now she's not dying yeah and it's 27 by 27 big cut she's huge because so the fabric is chosen for her everything is chosen the only thing i'm missing is working copy i don't want to use this pattern because i don't have extras and it's out of print and one of my collection ones but for me to start a large one, I need to finish at least one large uh, kitted uh, design. I mean, started design, so I don't want to start all the large ones at once. L Roses of Provence, one, two, four. It is, a, it is not out of print, and I do have the second copy, and once i find it i do want to do giveaway for a second copy of her and she comes with let me see oh okay not a lot of not a lot of uh, treasures so she she just needs few mill hill beads i actually have few of them but i think i need to add few more mill hill beads a cranic but she is big one even though she doesn't have a lot of bling she is a larger design she is 
13, almost 14 by 16. So it, she is big. Um, in England, there was a um, stitcher. She has a big channel. Teresa. Teresa uh, from UK. She has stitched her. And when I saw her stitching, I was like, I need to do it. Gathering eggs. It was first in a magazine, then they printed MD49. This version is out of print, but I think the Huffman still has the magazine version. Please check. I'm not sure, but because it was in magazine, <clears throat> excuse me, everything that was printed in magazine, you can find it in Huffman, Huffman website. I am using the cold for 32 cans Weigert uh, Belfast dirty linen. I didn't, even though it looks green, this is the call for fabric. It looks green over here. It looks more uh, um, almondy over here. She comes all the DMC and one bead. I was gonna start this year for the Easter, but I decided to start the Kathy Berrick one because usually if I'm starting everything on holidays and special days, I don't wanna start only holiday stitching. I wanna do everyday stitching too. But I wanna squeeze her in. She is a smaller one. Oh, she is huge. Well, they are huge. Twin Mermaids by MD141. Apologies, I made a loud noise. Look at the big pad. Big bead pack. English. She, this is huge. And all the bugle beads. Large beads. So, fight. Oh, she has a lot. They have a lot of Magnifica, Magnifica beads, which are, I believe, out of productions. Not the petite ones. I was told the petite ones are still available, but the uh, Magnificas harder to find. The sun is going down. So I need to find a fabric for her. This one doesn't look very uh, fancy, but I have seen her stitch. She looks amazing with all the beads, those flowers and stuff. It's the, oh, November Topaz Fairy. I should say it. She is November Topaz Fairy. She has a lot of charms. Like I had to get 14 packs. I believe, yeah, nine packs of one kind of charm, one, 14 packs of this. So she is really shiny one. So I have to find lemongrass kind of, I don't want to use this fabric, but lemongrass yellowish. I think I, I have one on the 36 count, but I do need a 32 count or 28 even for the, all the charms too. For me to be able to put them together i'm almost done i will not keep you guys more than me to <laughs> all right deepest love asking for fabric is 32 count belfast women amsterdam oh it says amsterdam blue linen but i chose rivera aqua I think it's the same color. I thought I got the cold for, but this one says uh, Riviera Aqua Linen. She has this netting over here. That's why I chose this color. If I use anything hand dyed, this part will not show. So I really wanted this to show. So that's why I went something this drastic. And I think it, she's gonna look amazing. Uh, it's MD42. I do have all the cold four beads. I don't think it needs a uh, water lilies. It has the cranic. Um, it's she's ready. Just need to start. One day, someday. 
like I said at the beginning of the video, I do know I have a lot, but honestly, um, my family is okay. Uh, that brings me happiness, and I don't feel bad because uh, it's it's a, it's art form, you know. I don't, uh, and it makes me happy. My husband is one of those people rare that he encourages me. If I see a uh, cross stitch, and he knows I have all this. And if I say, oh, this is cute, the uh, next thing I know, he's clicking on the eBay and buying it for me. So he's an enabler too. I think that's why I have a lot because nobody's telling me to stop buying it. And why not? You know, some people buy purses, some people buy shoes, some people buy jewelry. And I'm, I'm going, I'm shrinking. And I buy cross stitch stash. If this is when I was a kid. Um, let me just show you the cute one. I used to collect postcards, so I was a collector always. Uh, I lost them all. Then I was collecting pins from all over the world, the flags of the countries. So, and as I grew up, and I used to collect the stamps, my husband collects stamps too. So, we were kind of we tried to keep it neat and organized, but. It's like a collection, you know, pretty stuff. And this is South Sea Mermaid. I'm just like putting it here and I'm like, you guess it. <laughs> MD92. I do have the cold for fabric, but I have seen it hand dyed fabric. So even though the fabric is beautiful, I am not hundred percent. And I also don't know if it's out of print pattern again i purchased those when they were available like some of them i bought it like 11 queen of freedom i'll tell you how much i paid in one two three stitch when it came out i think i paid 12 dollar or 13 that's when i got it so it has to be more than 15 years 10 years cassiopeia one three one i love her and i am gonna stitch her she reminds me of my daughter and for i do have the bead pack which i'm happy it has a lot of petite beads it doesn't have magnifica so they're not out of print uh, out of production so if even if you don't buy the bead pack i think you're okay she has a lot of water lilies, so pretty. Look at this, they're so soft. And she's almost full coverage. So I'm thinking, I seen her stitched in more violet because the couch area is more violety. This tone fabric. But I was thinking the um, Picture Test Plus, if you guys are familiar their lines, they have more popular fabrics like the murky gingerbread. They also have a fabric called Da Vinci. I have kitted up several things and I have Da Vinci. And it has like violety, purpley pink, and it has light uh, modeling. I'm thinking to put Da Vinci. I think I do have it for her, but I didn't put it because I was not 100% sure. And I did not want to put the fabric and forget about it until I am ready to start. She's cute. All right, I have three more and we are done. And Enchant, I was gonna say Enhanced. <laughs> Enchanted Mermaid MD84, it is uh, available. And kidding her up, the bead packs, you need like three packs, two, 11 packs, 10 packs, seven packs of treasures. That's why I have not started yet because uh, the kit uh, bead packs, I have not found it, but if you find it, it's 100 plus for the beads alone. And she's huge, she's beautiful, she's huge. So far, I have the Cranix and I purchased one or two beads and I'm collecting slowly. But I don't have any of her treasures unless I'm looking for someone mentioned it. There is a conversion for the treasure pack. I might just have to do that. 
because I don't want to spend $100 on treasures. Mermaid of Pearls. This is a restart and because of the wrong fabric size. I purchased, since then, I from the Crafty Kitten, I purchased this one. I don't know the name, but you cannot get it because she's not uh, dying anymore. I'm gonna show something and you're gonna go, oh my God, what the, what's wrong with you? I was stitching it on 14 count fabric 15 years ago. Over here, just a little bit space. She's beautiful. And, and I counted it. The tail is gonna go over here. And I was not liking it already on 14 count. And when I counted, I saw that she's not gonna fit. I was not happy. I did not wanna work on it. I just put it aside because I felt like if I'm missing any of the beads, I can take it out of this one. But I'm gonna do some changes. Not only this beautiful fabric for her, which is gorgeous fabric, one of the most beautiful colors from Crafty Kitten. Okay, it's uh, Emerald. Crafty Kitten Emeralds, 28 count Lugana. The reason I chose 28 count Lugana, over here it's all large size six beads. What I'm gonna substitute it with is fresh water pearls. Yeah. For those, well, let me just put it this side. For over here, there's also this color beads. I'm gonna substitute it with the pearls. It needs both sides. Uh, I'm gonna substitute this for six, this for eight, and this for the other beads. They're all pearls. And this is how much I paid. So that's how long we bought it. I bought it. Mermaid of the Pearl, MD26. So I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. It's not gonna feel like the same one. And I do wanna stitch it. It's one of my favorite designs, but I was really not happy. So I think she's, look at this. She's gonna be beautiful. My next mermaid, it might be her. It doesn't matter that I did it quite a bit stitching on it. If I'm not happy, I'm not gonna display it. I know it's a lot of work, but for me, it's the process. That's why I can stitch more than once. It's not the end result, it's the process. And if I'm enjoying it, I'll stitch it. Bluebird my Princess Mirabella, MD98. She's the companion piece for the Gypsy Mermaid that I showed on the uh, orange, cow, orange color fabric, Eek. Her, I have the bead pack and I have everything. So I, I'm choosing, I chose Crystal Lagoon, Lagoon 32 count, but the reason I'm not starting it, and if you guys already saw my repeat, I do not want to stitch on open lesson anymore. My eyes are not cooperating. Maybe 10 years ago, I was okay, but now my eyes go like this. Smaller count, uh, like, oh, I'm so sorry. I threw there in the noise. Smaller count fabric, I can work with. I purchased like my first 45 count or 46 count fabric. But the opalescent, that silver lines that go between, makes me uh, miss count. It's not as much as I, it's impossible. It's just like, I have to like concentrate and gives me headache and cross stitch. I do it as a pleasure whenever I have time. Sometimes I did middle of the night if sometimes I get insomnia or something. So I need to use a, find a fabric like the, the other mermaid, the Crafty Kitten fabric, uh, Laguna. Oh, that's beautiful fabric. I wish she's a uh, mm, color, she, hand dyed fabrics again because that fabric is amazing 
last but not least silver moon md119 i purchased it called for fabric which is 32 count lilac belfast linen she has all the beads oh this is such a pretty bead yes look at how pretty they are so my sister finished this the whose birthday is today and it says earl gray right she changed to coffee because she's a coffee drinker so am i but since she put the uh, coffee i don't want to copy exactly the way she she did i'm thinking of putting either brand name of the coffee or tea i drink or i'll just put earl gray because i don't want to have coffee exactly the way she did it and she put her initial like this it looks very pretty i have to showcase her work she does it on ida and her work is very beautiful so this is all i'm gonna show today apologize for my zippers thank you so much and uh, this was all my kitted mirabilia and some of the whips that i didn't show last uh, last week and if i have a chance i'm not gonna do it today because my throat got dry uh, i'll try to do the pattern if not i'll just leave it as it is maybe next year i'll do something different until then thank you guys so much for watching liking commenting and if you like what you see you like this long form video please like and uh, like subscribe that's how i can make videos that's how youtube um recommends otherwise my video will go like uh, it will get lost because if you guys don't like don't share the thumbs up uh so please do that all the all the things that you do it on youtube i love your comments please give me feedback if you find the fabric choice or you have your own ideas i'm open to suggestions for some of them that i'm confused i am gonna try to work on uh, my mirrors if i can uh, make substantial um uh, uh advancement or some uh, good quality of stitching any of the projects i will start more if not i'm gonna try to work on the whips i have and uh next video if you guys check it out if it's not titled mirabilia it's gonna be most likely mostly samplers because i have quite a bit samplers and i got a stash of samplers i do need cross stitch intervention that's a thing maybe um and primitives i, I if you guys see over here i framed the easter easter one bunnies the chocolate bunnies i said it I might show you show it next video or video after that and i fin i also framed the um, uh, what remains and the uh, happy hearts by um either i forget the title of the video uh, title of the chart or the co company name so I i'll do that thank you guys so much for watching uh, spending time with me and choosing with me all the patterns looking at it i hope you guys like it like share subscribe i would really appreciate it and i will do the giveaway i'm gonna try to come back end of the month if i can if not beginning of the next month and we'll celebrate thank you bye bye